In July 2005, 3rd Fleet began a large-scale anti-submarine warfare exercise near California. Just a year before in 2004, America requested to lease a $100 million Swedish submarine, the HSMS Gotland for a year, to help develop countermeasures before the newly commissioned $6 billion USS Ronald Reagan's maiden deployment in 2006. During exercise in December, just a month before Reagan's deployment, HSMS Gotland equipped with noiseless Stirling engines, penetrated the entire carrier strike Group 7, despite its destroyers, cruisers, submarines, planes and helicopters all looking for it, and scored multiple simulated torpedo hits against the CVN-76. Or in other words, while the Navy was looking for her, she came underneath the carrier and said. Gotlands are the first submarines to feature an air-independent propulsion system, which allows them to have an extended endurance of weeks, something that previously only nuclear-powered subs had. If a small diesel-powered submarine could sink a $6 billion U.S. supercarrier, then it would be a great drawback in real war.